Let's take a closer look at the Skywatcher Heritage 130p Dobsonian starter scope. One of the first things to note is just how portable this 130mm uh, reflecting telescope is. I can easily pick it up with one hand. Very simple. And it's actually got a hand, a hand hold here actually built into the body so that you can carry it around easily. I'm going to place it on the tabletop here so we can get a closer look at it. The Heritage 130P features a Dobsonian mounting which makes the instrument very easy to use, simply tilting it uh, in altitude to follow the target and rotating in azimuth. Very simple to use, no drives or anything like that or any kind of complications, just point it at the target you want to look at and you're away. Um, very nice feature of the telescope is its compact size as I was saying earlier, but here's its little trick. Simply take the cap off there and give it a push and hey presto, the telescope doubles in size. So we've actually got a full 650 millimeter focal length here, uh, combined with a five and a quarter or 130 millimeter primary mirror, which actually gives this instrument terrific uh, light gathering power. I don't know whether you can see the main mirror there. Terrific light gathering power for its main mirror. I'm just going to try to point the telescope at you, so you might be able to see it. I think you caught a little glimpse of Andrew's face there. Can you see the? You can see the mirror. I think at the back there. Can you see the reflection of my hand? There you go. Can you see it right at the back there? Um, just look at that mirror. It's very, very large. It's 130 millimeters in diameter. And it's really that that's the powerhouse for this telescope. Collecting light like an upturned umbrella. And of course, that really is collecting a heck of a lot of light, that 130 millimeter mirror down the bottom there. Another nice little feature is the um, 400 years of the telescope uh, decals on the side of the tube here. Um, it certainly uh, it produces really quite a, an attractive look to the telescope. You can see that it's uh, the names of people associated with the triumphant performance of the telescope in the last 400 years. The eyepiece uh, focusing on the telescope is very, very easy to do. It's got this helical mounting up here. Simply undo the two thumb screws to change the eyepiece. Great feature of uh, this telescope, it actually comes with two eyepieces. It comes with a little 10mm one here for high power and the 25mm eyepiece for uh, wide field use. The 25mm eyepiece delivers 26 times magnification and the 10mm eyepiece delivers 65 times magnification. The telescope itself is actually capable of sustaining magnifications up to 260 times if you use it in conjunction with other accessories. In fact, we're going to talk about that just a little bit later on as well. Another great feature of the 130 Heritage is this little red dot LED finder. This works a little bit like the head-up display in a uh, fighter pilot's cockpit uh, by producing a red dot um, that looks as though it's been projected on the sky. It actually hasn't been. What, what actually works is there's a little lens in here that captures the image of the red dot and as you look through the back of the telescope here from almost any position like down here it seems to produce to project that red dot actually on the sky. Um, we've actually got a little um, brightness control here as well so we switch it on and we can have it at various levels of brightness to very bright up here to really quite dim down here. That's quite useful because when you're looking at a bright target you actually don't want the finder to be too bright. You certainly don't want it very significantly brighter than the target that you're trying to look for because it makes it harder to see. I'm just going to show it to you in a bit more detail there. Then. That's, that's removable, you can take that off easily but it's really a rather nice feature of the telescope. The Heritage 130p flex tube Dobsonian reflector is a really great telescope for uh, starters uh, in astronomy because it's so easy to use. The little electronic finder makes it very easy to find targets in the night sky and the ease of setup, just stick it on any table and you can start using the telescope straight away. It makes it, makes it a real keen favourite, I think, for somebody just starting out in astronomy. Especially as it's a little bit better than really the basic starter scope. That big 130 size mirror and the simple to operate design I think makes, makes it a couple of steps up from the very basic starter scopes that are advertised for a similar, a similar kind of price. Just to make the telescope a little bit more interesting, the uh, two retailers at the Astronomy and Nature Center, Scopes and Skies and Pulsar Optical, have got a free offer going on this telescope uh, at the moment in the run-up to Christmas. They're actually offering this uh, really rather nice two times Barlow. I don't know whether you can see that. You can pull in on that, uh, Andrew. Um, the two times Barlow here um, is a nice little optical system that you simply insert between the eyepiece and the uh, focuser. So that goes in there first. Then we put the um, eyepiece into position, lock it in. 
And that has the effect of doubling the focal length, which at the same time actually has the effect of doubling the magnification of any eyepiece used with it. So I told you earlier on that this one was capable of delivering 26 times magnification. That would actually go up to 52 in this configuration. And if we change that for the 10 mil, the 10 mil you remember uh, was delivering 65 times, so this will actually go up to 130. And you can use other eyepieces, not included with the telescope, to take that magnification all the way up to a higher magnification of 260 times for homing in on the fine detail on Jupiter and the rings of Saturn and lunar craters. As you can see, it comes packaged in this uh, rather nice picture box, um, making it, I think, an ideal gift. And that's the Heritage 130p Dobsonian Starter Scope.